in today's lecture we are going to discuss a very important uh, phenomenon <clears throat> which is called gibbs paradox <coughs> actually this gibbs paradox is related to the entropy of a perfect gas or you may also say that uh, <clears throat> this is related to entropy of mixing it means when two systems uh, are mixed together the entropy obtained does not satisfy the additive property of entropy and so that is called gibbs paradox okay so to know what is this gibbs paradox how this uh, paradox was resolved by gibbs you have to remember what you have learned in the previous lectures <clears throat> actually in the previous two lectures we have discussed two important uh, facts in a, <clears throat> the one of the important fact is to find the partition function of a perfect gas and you have learned in the previous lecture that the partition function of a perfect gas is given by z equal to v over h cube 2 pi m k t whole to the power 3 by 2 this result we have obtained in the previous lecture so uh, since this uh, result will be needed to discuss the gibbs paradox so i have mentioned this result here okay again you have also calculated what will be the entropy of a perfect gas in terms of this uh, partition function okay and you have learned in the previous lecture that entropy of a perfect gas s in terms of this partition function z is given like this this is nk log z <coughs> plus 3 by 2 nk actually here n represents the total number of molecules present in the gas k is the boltzmann constant okay and in the first expression v is the volume of the gas m is mass of each molecule of the gas and t is temperature okay so these are the two important results which we have discussed in very detail in the previous lecture and uh, today uh, we are going to see that the expression for entropy s of a perfect gas which has been defined in this equation a2 is the correct expression or not okay actually you will see that uh, this uh, expression for entropy for a perfect gas in terms of its partition function actually this does not satisfy a very important proper property of entropy which is its additive property because you know that uh, entropy is an extensive property and uh, so it follows uh, the additive property when you say that it follows additive property what does it mean it means <coughs> if s1 and s2 are the entropies of two independent systems then when the two systems will mix together <clears throat> the entropy of the resulting system must be equal to s1 plus s2 okay or in other words you can also say that if s1 and s2 are entropies of two parts of a system then the entropy of the whole system will be <clears throat> s1 plus s2 okay this is called additive property of entropy and uh, since it is an extensive property so we so this must follow this additive property but uh, we will see uh, here that this expression of entropy uh, which has been defined in this equation a2 actually the, it will not satisfy the additive property of entropy okay it will not satisfy and since it does not satisfy the additive property of entropy 
सो वी सिंपली से दैट दिस एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ एंट्रोपी फॉर ए परफेक्ट गैस गिव्स ए पैराडॉक्सियल रिजल्ट ओके एंड दैट पैराडॉक्स इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड गिब्स पैराडॉक्स सो वी विल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज दिस गिब्स पैराडॉक्स हाउ वी कैन से दैट दिस एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ एंट्रोपी डज नॉट सेटिस्फाई द एडिटिव प्रॉपर्टी एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल लर्न हाउ दिस पैराडॉक्स विल बी रिजॉल्व बट बिफोर दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल put here the value of z which i have defined in this equation a1 and then we will express this expression in a simpler form so first of all let us substitute the value of z in this equation a2 from equation a1 so after substituting this what will be your result you can see when we will substitute it you can see s will be equal to nk log v over h cube times 2 pi m k t to the power 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 n k okay you can see that this uh, square bracketed factors is at the place of z okay now using the uh, result uh, or property of uh, log you can write this expression like this this is s equal to n k log v plus 3 by 2 log m plus 3 by 2 log t okay and the remaining factors are uh, v sorry v v has been written 2 pi k to the power 3 by 2 divided by s cube and so this can be written as 3 by 2 log 2 pi k over h square okay and plus 3 by 2 because uh, i have taken this nk as a common factor so this is 3 by 2 now uh, you can see the last two terms that is 3 by 2 log uh, 2 pi k over uh, h bar square plus 3 by 2 this is a universal constant because for any gas these uh, the sum of the last two terms will not change this will remain same so you can take a constant c at the place of the sum of these uh, the last two terms okay so the expression for entropy now becomes s equal to nk times ln v plus 3 by 2 ln m plus 3 by 2 ln t plus c okay actually as i have told you that this c has been written at the place of 3 by 2 log 2 pi k over h bar square plus 3 by 2 and you can see uh, none of the quantity in this expression will be different for different gases so you can say that this is just a universal constant okay so this uh, equation uh, 1b is nothing this is simply equation a but it has been written in a simpler form okay and as i have told you that uh, this expression of entropy defined in this equation 1a does not satisfy the additive property of entropy so similarly you can also say that this expression of entropy which uh, we have defined in this equation 1b uh, will not satisfy the additive property of entropy and so it gives a paradoxical result and that paradox will be called gibbs paradox but let us see how we can say that this expression of entropy uh, does not satisfy the additive property actually for explaining this very fact we consider a consider actually two systems you can see this figure uh, and which i have marked by 1 and 2 actually this one represents the first system this two represents the second system and these two systems are inside a box okay and there is a partition let us say this xy is a partition okay uh, which actually uh, <coughs> partition par, which actually uh, divide these two systems okay so these two systems are divided by this partition okay 
for uh, calculation we consider that uh, the two systems one and two are at the same temperature so you can see i have marked here the different parameters t is the temperature of first system and t is also the temperature of second system so our assumption is that the two systems are at the same temperature okay apart from it we consider that uh, the two systems are different and the number of molecules or number of particles in first system is n1 and that in second system is n2 okay the volume of the first system is v1 and that of second system is v2 and mass of each particle or each molecule of the first system we have considered m1 and that of second system we have considered m2 okay and let us say that s1 is the entropy of our first system and the s2 is the entropy of second system okay so what will be the values of s1 and s2 you can write on the basis of this equation 1b sorry this will be just okay don't worry okay this this expression of entropy which we have obtained uh, can be used to find the entropy of the two systems so this equation 1b uh, on the basis of this equation 1b you can write what will be the entropy s1 of first system and what will be the entropy of uh, second system okay so you can see in this expression when you will write s1 then n will be n1 b will be b1 okay m will be m1 but t and c will remain same similarly when you will write s2 then n will be written as n2 b will be b2 m will be m2 but t and c will remain same so uh, on this basis you can uh, write the expression for the entropy of the two system you can see i have written it here that s1 is equal to n1k times ln v1 plus 3 by 2 ln m1 plus 3 by 2 ln t plus c and similarly s2 is equal to n2k times ln v2 plus 3 by 2 ln m2 plus 3 by 2 ln t plus c okay now if you want to find uh, what will be the total entropy of the combined system it means if you are talking about the combined system 1 plus 2 what will be the entropy as i have told you earlier that entropy is an extensive property extensive property means the property which depends on mass okay and uh, since it is an additive property sorry a, an extensive property so it must satisfy the additive property it means if you want to find the entropy of the combined system or the joint system 1 plus 2 then what will be that entropy that entropy will be simply equal to sum of these two entropies okay so if you denote the entropy of the combined system by the symbol s12 then that s12 will be equal to s1 plus s2 okay now you know the value of s1 and s2 from equation 2 and 2b so let us substitute the values of s1 and s2 here so at the place of s1 we will write n1k times log v1 plus 3 by 2 log m1 plus 3 by 2 log t plus c okay this is the value of s1 and similarly the value of s2 is n2k times log v2 plus 3 by 2 log m2 plus 3 by 2 log t plus c okay this is the total entropy or you can say this is the entropy of the combined system 1 plus 2 okay now for simplicity we consider that the particles of the two systems are identical they are same okay 
and for convenience we also consider that the volume of the two systems are also equal this is only for convenience okay when you say that the particles of the two systems are same what does it mean it means the mass of particle of first system m1 and that of second system m2 will be equal and we will say that this is equal to m okay and we have also considered that the volume of the two systems are same so you can write v1 equal to v2 and let us say this is equal to v we consider it okay so in this condition if you consider that the two systems are identical the particles are completely identical and the systems have also equal volume then what will be this s12 in in fact uh, in this condition we uh, also consider that uh, the number of uh, particles in the two systems are also same that is n1 is also equal to n2 and uh, that is equal to n we also consider so in this condition you can say that the two systems are completely identical so their entropy will be same and so s1 and s2 will be same and what will be that from the same equation you can write the values of s1 or s2 like this this is nk log v plus 3 by 2 log m plus 3 by 2 log t plus c actually this is the entropy of both of the systems and so in this condition what will be the entropy of the combined system which you have denoted by the symbol s12 as you know s12 is equal to s1 plus s2 but you have seen in this equation 4 that s1 and s2 both are equal and both are equal to this much which have defined in this equation 4 so s1 plus s2 will be simply two times of this value defined in equation 4 because both are equal okay so in this condition you can say that the entropy of the joint system or the combined system is equal to simply 2nk times this 2 is just the factor 2 okay and log v plus 3 by 2 log m plus 3 by 2 log t plus c okay so uh, we have uh, calculated what will be the total entropy of the uh, system 1 plus 2 if the two systems are completely identical it means uh, the masses of the particles of the system are same volume of both systems are same okay number of particles in both system are same in fact in that condition the entropy of the combined system will have this value which i have defined in this equation 5 okay but now we shall find the actual entropy of the combined system uh, using uh, the basic equation which we have learnt earlier uh, in this equation you can say 1b this is 1b actually applying this equation 1b now try to find uh, the actual value of the entropy of the combined system and for this let us uh, remove the partition this partition let us now consider is removed and when the partition will be removed what will happen diffusion of gases will take place okay so the molecules of the system 1 will uh, will move towards system 2 and the molecules of system 2 will move towards system 1 and the two systems will mix together okay there will be just a diffusion okay so now there is only one system and uh, what will be the number of particles in that system since each system has n particles and the particles are non-interacting the number remains conserved so the now 
द कंबाइंड सिस्टम विल हैव टू एन पार्टिकल्स ओके नाउ इस सिस्टम हैज वॉल्यूम भी सो द आफ्टर रिमूविंग द पार्टीशन द वॉल्यूम ऑफ दिस वन सिस्टम विल बी टू भी ओके बट टेम्परेचर विल रिमेन सेम मास ऑफ ईच पार्टिकल विल रिमेन सेम सो इफ वी अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला विच आई हैव डिफाइंड इन दिस इक्वेशन बी to find the entropy of this combined system what will be the result you can see at the place of n now you will have to write 2n and at the place of volume v now you will have to write 2v because volume is not 2v but can this m will be 2m not because this is mass of each molecule so after mixing together mass of each molecule will remain m okay and since the temperature of both of the systems were t before mixing so this temperature will also remain same so the entropy of the combined system now will be 2 nk times log 2 v plus 3 by 2 ln m plus 3 by 2 ln t plus c actually i have written this uh, result here you can see in fact i have mentioned here that uh, when the partition will be removed and the two systems will mix together in fact in that condition the combines in the combined system the number of molecules will now become 2n the volume will become 2b okay but m will remain same m and t is also same okay so by using that very equation for entropy you can say that the entropy of the combined system which i have denoted by the symbol s12 prime s12 prime yeah s12 test what will be that at the place of n now we will write 2n so this is 2nk and at the place of v we will write 2v so this is log 2v and other terms will remain same so this is 3 by 2 ln m plus 3 by 2 ln t plus c now you can see this log 2v can be written as log 2 plus log v okay because log a times b is equal to log a plus log v okay and now you can write this 2 nk times log 2 this term has been written here 2 nk log 2 and the, what are the remaining terms the remaining terms are 2 nk times log v plus 3 by 2 log m plus 3 by 2 log t plus c okay but uh, you can see uh, this uh, result where i have calculated uh, s12 this is 2 nk log v plus 3 by 2 log m plus 3 by 2 log t plus c this is s12 so you can say that uh, now the entropy of the combined system s12 prime is equal to s12 plus 2 nk log 2 surprisingly you can see that here the entropy of the combined system s12 prime is not equal to s12 it means the entropy is not following the additive property okay actually there is an increase in entropy by this factor 2 nk log 2 this is actually the increment of uh, this uh, entropy after mixing together okay in general if you consider there are alpha gases let us see uh, there is a box and there are actually so many compartments this is first system this is second system this is third and this is alpha th system we consider there are alpha system and if all these partition are removed after that what will be the entropy of the system from this result you can see when there were two systems then after mixing the increment of 
एंट्रोपी इज टू एन के लॉग टू एक्चुअली दिस टू दिस नंबर टू इज ड्यू टू द फैक्ट दैट देर आर टू सिस्टम्स और द टू सिस्टम्स हैज बिन मिक्स टूगेदर सिमिलरली वेन यू से दैट एल्फा सिस्टम्स विल बी मिक्स टूगेदर सो इन दैट कंडीशन द इनक्रीज इन एंट्रोपी विल बी वाट दिस विल बी एल्फा एन के लॉग एल्फा एट द प्लेस ऑफ टू देर विल बी एल्फा दिस इज द जनरल रीजन ओके सो यू कैन से दैट सी दैट एक्चुअली दिस रिजल्ट शोज दैट द एंट्रोपी डज नॉट फॉलो द एडिटिव प्रोपर्टी इफ इट फॉलो इट विल फॉलो द एडिटिव प्रोपर्टी दिस एक्स्ट्रा टर्म शुड बी नॉट हियर बट यू कैन सी दैट दिस इक्वेशन कॉन्टेंस एंड एक्स्ट्रा फैक्टर टू एन के लॉग टू और यू कैन से एल्फा एन के लॉग एल्फा एक्चुअली दिस इंडिकेट्स दैट बाय मिक्सिंग टू डिफरेंट गैसेज ईच कॉन्टेनिंग द सेम नंबर ऑफ मॉलिकुल्स एन बाय रिमूविंग द पार्टीशन बिटवीन देम द एंट्रोपी ऑफ द कंबाइंड सिस्टम इंक्रीजेज बाय एन अन अकाउंटेबल अमाउंट टू एन के लॉग टू और एल्फा एन के लॉग एल्फा ओके यू कैन सी Actually, this additional entropy is called entropy of mixing. This is called entropy of mixing. Okay. Question may be asked to you uh, to write a short notes on entropy of mixing. Then you have to discuss this problem up to this. Okay. So you can see if uh, the expression of entropy which I have earlier defined. if uh, you consider that uh, that is the expression of entropy for a perfect gas then you can see that uh, this uh, uh, expression does not satisfy the additive property of entropy and so we simply say that uh, that expression of entropy gives a paradoxical result okay and uh, this peculiar behavior of entropy is called gibbs paradox this is called gibbs paradox okay this unaccountable amount of increase in entropy this is called gibbs paradox all these things i have mentioned it here you can see for your convenience you may write down it in your notebook while watching the video so you can see i have mentioned that this result shows by mixing alpha different gases each containing the same number of molecules n the entropy of the combined system is increased by an unaccountable amount alpha n k ln alpha okay this additional entropy is called entropy of mixing okay so the use of that equation one uh, which i have written earlier for entropy we get a paradoxical result and because entropy being an extensive property must follow the additive property so that is called a paradoxical result actually this peculiar behavior of entropy is called gibbs paradox okay so this is gibbs paradox or this is a entropy of mixing actually gibbs explained or resolved this paradox uh, it means uh, the expression used for entropy of a perfect gas earlier is actually not correct what will be actually the correct expression for entropy of a perfect gas so that uh, uh, this uh, proper additive property of entropy will satisfy now let us see it how gibbs actually resolved this uh, uh, paradox so now we are going to see the resolution of gibbs paradox okay again the page has been turned because my ipad uh, is actually working for a long time and uh, when we work for long time by this uh, this defect actually comes now actually uh, as i have told you that uh, gibbs explained or resolved this paradox so this is also called gibbs paradox 
actually how uh, what was the basis of resolution of uh, this paradox by gibb in fact uh, for resolving this paradox gibbs assumed that the two system are actually completely same as you know in classical physics we consider that the molecules of a perfect gas are identical but distinguishable but distinguishable you have learned but gibbs assumed that actually the molecules of two perfect gases are not distinguishable but indistinguishable so taking the indistinguishability of the molecules under account gibbs explained or resolved this paradox actually when you will consider that uh, uh, the two systems uh, containing the same number n of identical particles are mixed by removing the partition between them the diffusion will take place and in this situation n molecules of each system cannot be distinguished in n factorial ways it means uh, when uh, the two systems will mi mix together a molecule will be replaced by another molecule in previous calculation we consider that when a molecule let us say this is molecule number uh, x and this is replaced by uh, the molecule number y it means now y takes the state of x in previous calculation we consider that uh, when y is at the place of x and x is displaced a new state is created but this is wrong concept since gibbs assumed that the molecules are identical and indistinguishable so no new state will be created when a when a molecule will be replaced by another molecule so in our previous calculation when we have calculated the thermodynamic probability w okay or the number of micro states corresponding to the most probable macro state or you can say you have calculated the statistical weight actually in that value there was actually n factorial meaningless permutation so definitely when we will consider that the particles are indistinguishable then the number of therm then the uh, value of thermodynamical probability w must be decreased by this n factorial since it is probability so when you say decreased it means when the particles will be assumed distinguishable then the actual value of thermodynamical probability which i have denoted by the symbol w dash will be equal will be not equal to w but that will be equal to w divided by n factorial w divided by n factorial actually you know that entropy has been obtained by using boltzmann theorem k log w and w was calculated uh, on the basis that the molecules are distinguishable but gibbs assumed that the molecules are not distinguishable in that condition we have actually counted extra n factorial states or micro states okay so definitely the correct value of the number of micro states or thermodynamical probability when particles will be assumed indistinguishable that will be w divided by n factorial and remember i have already calculated in very detail when we have actually uh, discussed the maxwell boltzmann distribution law the value of w is n factorial times pi over i gi to the power n i divided by n i factorial can you remember this formula we have already calculated this result in the discussion of maxwell boltzmann distribution function okay so this number must be divided by the meaningless permutation which is n factorial 
so now this n factorial and this n factorial will cancel out and the actual value or the correct value of the thermodynamical probability w dash will be equal to pi over i g i to the power n i divided by n f factorial okay so definitely you if you uh, now want to find the expression for entropy of a perfect gas at the place of w now you should write w prime or you can say w divided by n factorial so now uh, for finding the expression for entropy of a perfect gas we write again the boltzmann theorem and this is s equal to k log w by n factorial because w by n factorial is the correct number of microstates or the thermodynamical probability okay and this can be written as k log w a minus k log n factorial okay and as you know that uh, this k log n factorial actually log n factorial can be simplified by sterling formula which we have learned earlier so in instead of this log n factorial now we write n log n minus n this is by the use of sterling formula okay but uh, you have learned uh, earlier that uh, s equal to k log w when you have taken uh, s equal to k log w then our expression for entropy was this much n k log b by h cube 2 pi m k t to the power 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 n k this was the result uh, after uh, simplifying this uh, expression k log w okay so now uh, the expression for entropy will be this much a minus c here minus n k log n plus n k why plus this minus and this minus will be now plus okay so you can see this 3 by 2 n k plus n k this will be 5 by 2 n k okay and again you can see uh, this first term c here and this uh, term minus n k ln n k is a common factor so you can say that we will take n k as a common factor and this will be log b by h cube times 2 pi m k t to the power 3 by 2 minus log n but log a minus log b is log a by b so you can write s equal to n k log b by n times 2 pi m k t by h by s square whole to the power 3 by 2 okay this h cube can be written as h square to the power 3 by 2 and plus 5 by 2 n k actually this is the correct expression for entropy of a perfect gas and this result is also known as sakur tetrode equation this expression for entropy of a perfect gas is called sakur tetrode equation 2 you can see that uh, this expression actually satisfies the additive property of the entropy because you can see here uh, in this expression there is not b but b by n so when volume will be doubled this number n of molecules also gets doubled and this ratio b by n will remain same and that's why you will see that this expression of entropy for a perfect gas follows the additive property of entropy okay because in the um, argument of the logarithm as you can see there is v by n that is volume per particle v by n is volume per particle and that will remain same even after mixing okay and so uh, this will definitely satisfy the additive property so you can check now when we will find the entropy of uh, uh, the combined system after mixing the two systems then you can see that this n will now become 2n b becomes 2b so and this n will be also 2n 
so what will be s12 prime now from this result s12 prime can be written as instead of n we have i have written 2n okay instead of v i have written 2v instead of again n i have written 2n and here also instead of n i have written 2n okay okay and other factors remain same now you can see this 2 and this 2 will cancel out so this v by n remains same and uh, this 2 here which is i am just underlining and this 2 is not taken as a common factor so you can see inside the square bracket there will be n k log v by n 2 pi m k t to the power 3 by 2 plus 5 by 2 n k and what is this can you say this is actually s this is s that is entropy of a system and so this will be equal to 2s and 2s means s1 plus s2 so you can see that this s1 2 prime is simply equal to s1 plus s2 there is no extra term here and this is equal to s1 2 so this expression which i have uh, obtained here uh, in this equation uh, you can see in equation 7 which is also called sakut tetrode equation actually this expression follows the additive property of entropy so that is actually the correct expression for entropy of a perfect gas okay so uh, in fact uh, how this uh, paradox has been resolved you can see for resolving this paradox we have to assume that the particles of the two system or molecules of the two gases are not distinguishable but indistinguishable okay but you know in classical physics the particle should be distinguishable so you can all can say that uh, this Gibbs paradox can not be explained on the basis of classical statistics. Actually, indistinguishability is the feature of quantum statistics. In quantum statistics, we consider that the particles are indistinguishable. So to resolve the Gibbs paradox, we have used quantum property. Okay, we have used quantum property because in quantum picture the particles are completely indistinguishable and hence we have introduced the factor 1 over n factorial 1 over n factorial in the definition of entropy so this is a very remarkable fact when uh, we will uh, study the ensemble theory you will see that we will obtain the classical result for partition function for different ensemble and when our aim will be to find the expression for partition function for a quantum system or the quantum mechanical result we will simply divide that expression by this n factorial so after dividing by n factorial our our classical result will transform into the quantum result so this is a very important fact but this fact will be used uh, in the forthcoming lectures particularly in the ensemble theory when we will discuss okay so you can say that uh, uh, the resolution of gibbs paradox is an example of the success of quantum theory success of quantum theory because i have told you earlier in the uh, postulates of uh, class uh, postulates of a statistical mechanics that actually our nature is governed by quantum mechanical laws not by classical laws so definitely the quantum theory will be superior that will be the correct theory okay so now we conclude that if we imply the method of a micro kernical ensemble to define the entropy of a perfect gas we get unreasonable result that is gibbs paradox okay but if uh, we do not uh, if we do not uh, introduce the factor 1 over n factorial but when you will divide the 
स्टेटिस्टिकल वेट W और द थर्मोडाइनमिकल प्रोबेबिलिटी W बाय एन फैक्टोरियल दैट इज द नंबर ऑफ मीनिंगलेस परमोटेशन देन यू विल गेट द करेक्ट रिजल्ट ओके सो आई होप यू हैव डेफिनेटली अंडरस्टैंड क्लियरली व्हाट इज दिस गिब्स पैराडॉक्स एंड हाउ दिस पैराडॉक्स कैन बी रिजॉल्व ओके सो थैंक यू वेरी मच